So off to a house call. What do you got? Recess cans? Recess today? lights today, yeah. Very good. All yeah. packed up, ready to go. You got enough screwdrivers there? <laughs> <laughs> One or two. So, I mean, you must have three or four go-to tools in here, despite all the screw type, screwdrivers that you love. We have a little bit of everything to kind of cover you, but yeah, there's always the staples that we keep all the time. Walk me through them. What, uh, what, what do you need? Number one, my linesman's pliers. Linesman pliers. You guys never have these out of your hands. What do you love about them? What do they do for you? Well, one, they pretty much do everything for us. Like you said before, they're they're a hammer. They do everything, but they look a little unusual. Some people may not want to use them. Like in, you think of an automotive set of pliers, it's a little different because these are flat and hard to grip. Right. They're perfect for twisting wires and making a nice straight cut on something. Beefy, um, back pocket, gets everything done. All right, yes. linesman pliers on the list. What else? All right, instead of using all the screwdrivers, if we just have to take one with us, <laughs> I'll take this one. Because? It's a multi-screwdriver, and a lot of times, I was a hard sell, I wasn't always a fan because you'd lose the bits, yeah. but this one really works out well. So that's two bits, there's got to be some more hidden here it somewhere. Does. Then you can actually pull this part out and change the other side. Okay, there you go. And it has the most common tips we use, like a number two square drive for a lot of the terminals or in breakers, yep. um, the Phillips bit, but it's also nut drivers for different oh, sizes. Nice. On. So it works out really, really well, it's good and solid. You don't lose the bits easily, not too flimsy. Yeah, you got one or two things in your pouch, you want something like that. What else? What else? What else? All right, the next one, always have diagonal cutters. Diagonal cutters. So clearly for cutting wire, but mm -hmm. I mean, why would you carry these in addition to those, and what's with the shape? So the point of it can actually get into a tighter space if you're cutting an individual conductor or have a harder area to get into versus something like this. Yep, and nice and flush in the back right there. It is, and you notice the curve on this? I like the curve style for a reason. These are perfect if you're putting an M cable in and you staple something where you don't want it or you right. have to remove it. You can actually grab the staple with that tip on the edge and rock that right out because of that shape. A little bit of leverage right yeah. there. Got it. Okay. Anything else Next. you recommend? The wire strippers. You know, <laughs> I mean, I've told you this before, but I used to think this was cheating because I've seen you guys strip any wire with these perfectly. You can. Right. But I was like, oh, I gotta use this. But I mean, they really work. I've got myself a couple pairs now. They so do. they've got the different gauges. Yep. Um, and you can even take the sheeting off of the wire, the cable as well, right? You can. It's just much faster. No damage to any of the conductors. Holy smokes. Look and at just that. like that, it's ready to go. That was like milliseconds. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't think it's cheating anymore. <laughs> I got up there. And you must have a, some sort of an electrical tester in here somewhere to... There we go. Always, right on the side, ready to get to. So this one's a non-contact tester. Meaning what? So you just put that tip of that to the wire to tell whether it's energized or not energized. Pretty close, just touch it right there, yeah. let you know it's live. It'll change color, it'll turn red, it'll start chirping, yeah. it'll let you know that it's live. Another thing I have several of <laughs> in every bag because I'm terrified of getting electrocuted. So even in my carpentry bag, I've got one of those as well. All right, what else? I'd say the final go-to would probably be a the good torpedo, torpedo level. level. Yeah. With the magnets? With the magnets. Gonna, let's see. Yeah, that's magnetic, that's right? Magnetic. All right, so makes sense. You guys are putting boxes in or you got plates sure, on the lineup. Sure, you want to keep the plate straight, putting a cab in, you want to do that. But it has a couple of different vials in here that you may not always be used to seeing. You'll Which, see or what? You know, a straight and a 90. I'll have a 45, but we also have a 30. Which and you guys use for what? Perfect when we're bending metal conduit for making some of the bends. We can Put that right on the conduit, pull it up, stop it at the 30 degree mark, and yep. continue on. Beautiful. All right. And then, of course, there's this thing, which I see you use. And I mean, this, when I watch you use this, this thing is awesome. The, the and dust you're shroud. Need this, right? I am going to need that. The yep. dust shroud for the uh, cans you're going to put in right now. Yep. So, hole saw in your drill, right? And you start putting uh, holes in the ceiling right there. Everything's coming down on you. Yeah, Plastic even if you things. try to run a vacuum, you're still right. not going to catch it all. Put this in between those two, and then that goes up. Catches everything. And no, you don't need a vac? No. Complicated. It might get a little dust if it's a textured ceiling sneaking out, but it's really great. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, like I said, you're going to need that. I need that. And since you I got duped this. of everything Kevin. else, good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.